I've done quite a few videos talking about different ways that you can migrate your Windows OS from one drive to another. And today Tenorshare has actually reached out to me to sponsor today's video where I can show you how their solution with 4D Dig Partition Manager can do that for you. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to learn how to enter the giveaway. Now 4D Dig's Partition Manager has a lot of the same tools as many of the others. There is disk and partition cloning, there is the Windows OS migration, which will be a focus a little bit today. Disk partition management, partition recovery, and then the MBR to GPT disk converter, which is relatively important when upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. So if you go to the web page in the link down in the description, um, you can go ahead and we'll do try it free. Go ahead and grab that. I already downloaded it earlier. And we'll get this installed. All right, so to quickly talk about the differences between the free trial that you get and the paid version, here is the best way to look at that. In the free trial, you're able to basically do the same things that disk management can do. Um, whereas once you pay, you get access to all of the things you would want. System migration, disk cloning, MBR GPT, recovery, boot repair, all that fun stuff. So we'll talk about pricing a little bit later, but Tenorshare did give me a premium code in order to show you how the program works. Uh, we're gonna walk through how to migrate your OS using the tool, and then we'll go over some of the other tools as well, and then we'll get to pricing. Um, so with migrating your OS, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and start. Our source disk is our current C drive. Our destination is a drive that I used in a previous video uh, about migrating OS, so we're gonna do that and we're just gonna click start. It's gonna say it's gonna overwrite everything on the target disk. We're gonna say sure. It's gonna give us what our expected results are gonna be. So it's gonna say this is gonna be 100, this is gonna be 16, this will be 900. We'll press start and we'll let that thing run. All right, so the migration finished correctly and we're going to go ahead and adjust our boot order as it's telling us here um, in order to boot into the new drive so let's before we do that though let's go ahead and check so this is our current drive and it is the uh thousand gigs it's right here we have a bunch of unallocated i was doing a bunch of stuff with that and then this is our destination drive that it copied over to everything looks pretty good so we're going to go ahead and jump into the BIOS. We're going to switch the boot priority, boot into this one, um, and double check everything's good. All right, so for whatever reason, uh, my EVGA does not want to pick up the BIOS. So we're just going to do it this way. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to go into our boot menu. It's going to be different depending on your motherboard manufacturer. We're going to switch from our A data to the Western Digital. So we're going to change this boot to the Western Digital. So now it is the priority boot drive. And now we can go ahead and save and exit. And save exit. So now that we've gone back into Windows, let me reboot the whole computer. We're gonna reboot back onto the original drive. Um, and then we'll walk through some of the other features and steps. All right, so now that we're back into Windows again, uh, let's talk about some of the other steps and some of the other things that you can do with this software. Uh, the first one up is gonna be clone disk. You can either clone the whole disk or you can clone a partition. Now, this is what you wanna do with drives that are not the current boot media drive. So that's what the Migrate OS one is for. Um, if you wanna clone a partition that is not your C drive or the Windows you know, system partitions, you can use clone partition. Um, this is really great if you wanna move things off of one drive onto another and maybe repurpose the original one or something along those lines. Now the next one, convert disk, is relatively important. Um, as I mentioned with Windows 11, your primary drive has to be GPT. Um, a lot of tools don't allow you to do this on the current active drive. So if you are upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and your current drive is MBR, using this MBR to GPT tool will be extremely handy. I don't really, see a lot of reasons you would want to go from GPT to MBR, but the option is available to you. 
So partition management is another really handy one. This is where you can go ahead and resize and move, delete partitions, change drive letters. You can do a whole bunch of stuff from in here. Um, it's extremely handy. You can create a partition if you really want to. Um, you can migrate your OS using this, so you don't have to use this, this tool specifically. You can do it from this screen as well. Um, it's nice to have. It's got a great layout. It looks good. And yeah. So I plugged the drive that we had migrated our OS to back in. And as you can see, I get a few options here. I can format the partition. I can change drive letters. I can split up a partition into multiple pieces. Um, I can resize and move partitions as well, which is really handy. For example, to extend a partition, the partition and the unallocated space have to be beside each other. So that's where the uh, moving is extremely important. It can come in very handy. You can't do anything on the active C drive here, um, but being able to resize and move within the tool is nice. Now, finally are the tools that you would use if you're experiencing some kind of issues. So the partition recovery here, you have the ability to recover partitions, restore partitions that you've accidentally formatted. You can repair partitions that are having a corruption issue, and you can also repair boot from here. Um, it is nice that they're all in here. I don't need to do any of these right now, so I can't really walk through them, but the fact that they're here and available is nice. Now, an issue some people might end up having when moving OS from one drive to another, moving drives around, doing a whole bunch of stuff is they might end up having some boot issues. So the repair boot may come in really handy for that. Uh, but again, I didn't have any issues, so I don't need to use any of these. Now, as I mentioned, we were gonna talk about pricing later. And this is where I think uh, Tenorshare has done a really good job with the 40 dig program. It is difficult to kind of figure this stuff out because I'll, you know, these sales happen all the time. Right now though, for $10, I think is pretty worth it. You know, my other videos where I'm using free tools, one of them is a lot more complicated and not as user friendly. And the original one from a couple of years ago can come with a lot of issues. You're using outdated software. So if you really wanted to for $10, you know, you get a month license. Um, you should be able to do everything that you need to within a month. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal. If it stays around $10, that's really great in order to migrate your OS. 10 bucks is pretty good. A lot of the other ones do not have a price this low um, in order to use the software. So it is nice that that is an option. And, you know, if you want peace of mind when migrating your OS, I think that's a pretty good deal. So what do I think about the 40 dig partition manager? I think it is really great. It definitely seems to be geared towards people who are not as technically savvy uh, or comfortable, which is great. I mean, it, they lay out all of the options really, really easily. All the things you have to do are easily done. They don't overcomplicate things with too many steps or too many options. They simplify it very, very well. So for people who just want something simple and they're not comfortable doing a lot of the more advanced steps, um, and they don't need a lot of super advanced tools, I think this is great. Um, it isn't as flexible and it isn't as feature rich as some other options, but also for 10 bucks uh, for a month to be able to migrate your OS, I don't think any of the other ones do that for you at that price. Um, and again, none of them do it as simply as the software has been so far. So that's been really great. To enter the giveaway, go to cadac.net slash giveaway and there are five one-month licenses that can be won. With all that said, though, I really do hope this video helped you out, and if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave those down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this partition software. Uh, if you liked the UI, if you liked the set of features that it has, I'd be happy to hear all. Also, big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other videos relating to Windows migration and partition management, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.